All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome. So this is lesson 2.3 about solving multi-step equations. Now, this is a very big lesson. This is the first of three videos that will be on it because I have three pages of notes. So if you're able to get on the canvas or wherever you can get the notes, please make sure you download them and follow along with, uh, with me. If not, um, please make sure you write at least two of the three examples down as we go or write them all down to make it better. All right, so let's begin on this. So a couple different things with this is we did single step the last lesson. You know, I threw in some uh, fractions for you guys. I wanted to make sure you guys could do it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have more than one operation, okay? Which means instead of just doing multiplication one time, we're gonna maybe do multiplication or addition, subtraction, then division and multiplication, such uh, forth like that. Um, and then um, we are going to be moving on. Now this one says solving equations of all in consecutive integers. We are not doing that at this point. We'll have some of that in here, but, but not a major uh, piece. Okay, so what we wanna do as we go through, ladies and gentlemen, is simple enough. Um, we wanna start identifying solutions. Um, so this is a key factor. The reason I have this up is you'll see one of these questions on the homework. And so what you wanna do is instead of we're focusing on this, and plugging in each value, I want you to solve this equation that's up here. And so this is the very beginning stage of what we're gonna be doing today. So we have an equation sitting here. And remember we had talked about splitting this in two, right? So whatever you do to this side, you gotta do to the other. Now I'm gonna start here, but then I shift it over to this side when I begin. So the first thing is, is you gotta get the variable by itself, right? So we're gonna keep the u by itself. So you would subtract three from both sides because that's attached from the U. You don't want to divide by six yet. You want to get rid of and make this single. So we're going to make it single first. So when you subtract, this cancels out, right? So you'd have U divided by six, and then it equals a negative and a negative added together or put together, okay? You can't think of addition and subtraction right now. You got to think of, you have negative five and negative three. You slam them together, what do you get? You get negative eight, right? So you went, you spent three, you spent five, you spent eight. Now the process becomes, it's a single step. Where you have one more step you gotta do. You have a fraction here. How do you get rid of a fraction? Okay, you multiply it by the reciprocal. And when I say reciprocal, remember that this is actually, can be written like this. This and this are the same thing. So when we say reciprocal, are we multiplying it by the reciprocal? We are. We're gonna multiply it by six to both sides. But if I write it like this, some of you might be like, oh, okay, that's what we did last chapter. Yes, that is correct. But we, if it's written like this, you're getting rid of the denominator. That's kind of what we did here too, okay? So you're gonna multiply this side by six and this side by six. And then what you get is these cancel out, become one, u equals negative 48. And so you go over here and ask, is it a solution? Well, the only solution that's possible negative 48. Everything else would be a no. All right, this one over here, beginning of a single, of a multi-step equation. You're gonna isolate the x, so you wanna get the number away from the x, which would be negative nine. So I'm going to throw it under here. Actually, let me rewrite it. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that nine. So in order to get rid of it, we're gonna have to subtract it from both sides. All right, we do that, then 39 minus nine would be 30 equals negative five X. Same thing, same process we learned last week, or from the last lesson, okay? Take the negative with you to the other side. So divide by negative five, divide by negative five, you get X equals negative six, right? So if I'm looking on here, here's the solution. Those three are not simple enough. This is the beginning stages of solving. All right, find and identify the solutions for these equations. All right, so hopefully you guys pause the video while we're backing out. Um, go ahead and start. So I'd subtract four, so that would be 48 equals negative eight W, divided by negative eight, and you would get negative six. Okay, so on here, this is a yes, no, no, no. All right, this one, same thing. First, you wanna subtract six from both sides. And then you have five minus six would be a negative one, equals y over seven. Multiply by seven, you get y equals negative seven. Just like that. So this is a yes, 
and the rest would be no, no, no. Now, I'm hoping that you guys are really pausing these videos and trying it out because what you need to understand is that if you're just watching me do all of these equations and not trying it on your own, are you really learning? The answer is no. Okay, most of you in here are too young to drive, but when you will start driving, you get a permit, okay, it's nice when somebody tells you how to drive, okay? You sit there, you watch a video, you read a book, but when you physically do it yourself is when you learn. So please make sure you guys understand that, okay, as we go forward here. Solving equations that require more than one step to solve are called a multi-step equation. All right, and to solve these, you must, we must undo each operation by working backward. And what that means is technically what you're doing is at the end here, we really want something that says y equals. So what you're doing is you're working backwards and getting rid of everything so that way you can end up with y equals. All right, so for example, once again, we want to get the y equals by itself. That's the end goal down here. So what do you do? We're going to add 9 first. Okay, you add 9. Sorry, I always like to change colors. This drops down to 3y. Those cancel out equals, and then that would be 51. All right, then your next step would be to isolate the y one more time by dividing, because that's multiplication. And then you divide this side by 3. You can put it in the calculator or figure it out, that eventually you would end up y equals 17. So you see, we're trying to get to here. So you got to work backwards is what it's saying by unsolving everything. Because the, really, the reality is, is could I go the opposite direction? Uh, I could. Okay? If I multiplied both sides by 3, so say I, I, go, I decide I'm going to go a little crazy here, and I say, all right, we're going to undo this and do the exact opposite. Instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply this by 3. So if I multiply this by 3, I would get 3y equals 51. And then if I say to myself, all right, but now I want to subtract 9 from both sides, okay? So what you would do is I would sit here, have this, and then you would go minus 9, minus 9, just like that, right? Now you solve it. So you have 3y minus 9 equals, and then 42. So you see what it's doing. It's just adding numbers and subtracting numbers in order to get this one in the middle, okay? So understand, we started here, we end here, and we can go back to this problem just by putting orders of operations in, okay? All right, so let's get back on track here. I just want to show you that step that you think, well, why are we doing this? Well, we're just adding, we're trying to figure out what somebody added to or subtracted to or divided or multiplied to to get it, all right? So now on this one here, negative 197, negative 197. All right, we're subtracting it to cancel these out. And that setup would be 44 equals a negative W. Now, we can't have a negative W, so you have to multiply both sides by a negative 1. And then when you do that, ladies and gentlemen, negative and a negative now creates a positive, but this turns into a negative 44. Simple enough, right? The next one here. You're going to add 4 to both sides, and then what you do, oops, add 4 to both sides, and then what you're going to do is put 3v here equals, and then 25, negative 25, and a 4 would be negative 21. Now you're going to divide both sides by 3, and you get v equals negative 7. Now I just swapped them around because I like how this looks. But technically, it would be negative 7 equals v. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, and the last step here, subtract 7, because we want to isolate the variable by itself. 5w equals, remember this is spent, you spent, so that means you spent more. w equals negative 6. All right, simple enough. Now, what I want you guys to do is do these four on your own by pausing the video and trying it out. All right, so big key thing, guys. Um, let me get my mouse here and get it a little higher. All right, one thing as you're going through, this is going to be a, oops. 
All right, this one here, you subtract 32 from both sides, and you have negative W equals, and then you would have a 137, right? And then um, as you're going through this process, you can't have a negative W, so you multiply both sides by 1, negative 1, and then you get a negative 137. All right, the next one over here is add 2. So you have 2Y, those cancel out, equals negative 12. Right, you spent 14, but somebody gave you two bucks, so you've only spent 12, divide negative six. All right, this one is plus 17. All right, then when you add that up, you get two U equals, and that would be a 32. Divide by two, divide by two, and U equals 16, okay? Simple enough. Just make sure you guys go in the right sequential order. All right, and then the last one for this video, add four, and then you have negative 16 equals four X, and then you would divide by four, bad color. That's even worse. And you'd end up with a negative four equals X, okay? Make sure you guys go through the process Figure out exactly what you're doing before you solve the answers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first part's done. We got two more to go.